So I got a fragrance from Max Aroma that I'm a little reluctant on how it's gonna smell. I'm really judging the book by its cover because it's kind of a counterpart to the popular Nefs. So I'm kind of nervous to see if this one can match up to the same energy that this one has for me, but we'll see. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can check out Nishane's Shem. Plus, good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. So I requested this joint from Max Aroma. You know, I collaborate with Max Aroma on a bunch of videos, and I saw the presentation, and I looked up a little bit of the notes, and I was like, this can be a real big hit or miss because it's not an inexpensive fragrance at all, but... I'm curious, Nishane is one of my favorite houses. They really do a lot of creative stuff that I enjoy and really smells fantastic on my skin. But there's nothing really else to do but check it out personally. And this one is, as I stated, Shem. Big presentation, big box, just like Neff's. And again, I looked up the notes previously um, I don't recall what they were to be honest with, but we will revisit. Great presentation. Love the beautiful color. So let's crack this joint open right now and take a good look at it. So here's the shims. It's the presentation right there. Slide this shit out. Ah! Leave it to me. I will be the one to break this bottle while opening it. Unbelievable. Here it comes. There we go. So yeah, the, even, even the box looks like the Neff's box, which I have somewhere around here. I think it was up on display on one of my shelves, but you know, construction. And let's open this joint up. I have to open it like this. Hopefully it doesn't fall out from all the shaking I just did. Beautiful box presentation, as you can see here. It always comes wrapped. And there is the Shems bottle. Aesthetically, identical to the, to the Neff's bottle, which I don't remember what the line is. It is extra de parfum concentration. Now there's nothing else to do but smell it. So I got the test strip here. Again, I'm I'm nervous, man. I hope I like this joint. I loved Neff's. Some people didn't agree with me, and that's fine. Some people really agreed with it, and that's cool too. So let's see what's up. Let me uh, give this joint a little spritz action here, and let's see if Nishane Shems hits different. Wow. Que lindo, man. Wow, this is... Oof. Oof. Is it ra leathery, raspberry, maybe? Or rhubarb? I feel like there's essences of saffron. There's a little bit of a citric greenness, but it's not very bright and citrusy as I'm... is isn't overly bright. There is a leathery, sweet... I, uh, raspberry, rhubarb-ish kind of vibe. I get for some reason saffron. Maybe there's a little bit of a sour citrus, maybe a grapefruit or a pomelo. Very hint of it. Oh my God. There's a cleanness about this leather also. It's like a brand new leather coat. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow. Let me put this on skin. Oh man, this is lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely. Ooh, a little tart off the skin. I'm getting a little bit of a, like a wet oudish kind of vibe off the skin, like wet oudish and wet leatherish com combination off the skin. Still get that leathery, rhubarb-ish, saffron kind of smell. Mm. There's a muskiness here as well. Oh, this is, mm. let me look up the notes. All right, so the notes are listed as Turkish rose, geranium, cardamom, 
Cipriol oil, osmanthus, amber, leather, elemi, and vetiver. The Turkish rose component here, it comes off rosy, but a little bit more sweet. I guess it's the combination of that rose and that cardamom mixed together. This shit is a vibe though. It's an expensive fragrance, I'm not gonna hold you, but oof. the leather is super present. That Cipriol oil must be what I'm getting off the skin that it was just a little difficult when you get that close to the fragrance, which you generally shouldn't. But that's probably what I'm getting on that, that little roughness that I get off the skin. The vetiver element kind of just sits in the cut. It is there, but it's not overly dominant. The amber is present, the cardamom is present, the leather is present, the Turkish rose is present and sweet. I'm getting a citric component, like I said. I don't know if it's coming from that Cipriol oil or maybe a little bit of the Osmanthus portion. Yeah, this is... Yeah. Just, I, I think two sprays is more than enough. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank God it kept the same energy as Neff's. Doesn't smell like Neff's at all. Man, this is nice. Holy shit. I like this one a lot. Absolutely a ball spray. Let me just go deep into my nuts. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Wow. This is why I like Nissan A, man. They really pull rabbits out their asses, and that sucks bunny out the motherfucker. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Have you guys smelled Shems? You can purchase it. It's expensive. I don't know. Or sample it. You can get yourself a sample. Just test it out. If you like Nefs and you're looking for something within that space, a nice, a nice rosy leather fragrance with some beauty on it, this is one to try out. Wow. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what it is. Biggest in the game. Smooches. Cubano, 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 what's fresh, who's best, one of them's gonna pass the test, Cubano, for the fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tag, when it's time to call back, for the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you